Hi guys, this is Mike and in today's video we'll go through a list of the most frequently asked questions about the DJI Spark. Ever since the DJI Spark was officially announced, people have started to ask insane amount of questions about it, about its camera capabilities, about the features, the charging, the flying, and everything else you can think of. So in today's video, we'll try to answer as many as possible, and I have divided um, the video into a couple of different sections, um, depending on the category of questions you might have. So check the description if you want to see uh, the specific timestamps of the different categories of questions. No, unfortunately there are no color uh, profiles on the Spark, unlike the Matic Pro or the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, the Spark can only shoot uh, JPEG photos, no RAW, uh, no color profiles and nothing else, just straight JPEG files. No, uh, you don't need to tap to focus like the Mavic Pro, uh, in the Spark you just point and shoot, just like a regular point and shoot camera. No, the Spark doesn't use uh, obstacle avoidance while using drone mode, since it only has obstacle avoidance in the front. So make sure that there are no obstacles on the way when you go back in drone mode, if you want to avoid crashing. No, unfortunately there is no waypoints mode in the Spark, but if you use Litchi app, you will be able to use them. Shooting video can only happen in manual mode with your smartphone or with the remote controller. Unfortunately you cannot use gesture controls to shoot video, uh, so if you want to shoot video you have to switch uh, because gesture controls is for photos only. You can track all sorts of objects uh, by using the active track mode. It doesn't necessarily need to be a person, it can be a car, it can be an animal, a tower, a ship, uh, anything you can think of that has enough contrast to pop out uh, from the background so it can be identified by the camera, it can be tracked. Just like the other uh, DJI products, you cannot shoot photos while you're taking a video. Yes, you can actually use uh, your Spark even if you don't have an SD card inside. Uh, you can pair your phone to the Spark and control it with your smartphone and doing so you will be able to shoot both photos and videos directly on your smartphone. But bear in mind that they will be in low resolution and overall in worse quality, so make sure that you stack up on your SD cards so you always have one handy. No, um, you don't need any kind of uh, cellular data or Wi-Fi on your device. You only need it once to activate the Spark and after that you don't need anything else. You can keep it offline forever. This really comes down to the area where you're trying to fly. Generally, you, you will be able to fly roughly at 60 to 70 meters away, uh, but depending on the interference, it could be uh, a bit more or a bit less. If you want to fly more, uh, you need to use the remote controller that gives you roughly two kilometers of distance. Not as of now, but there are some rumors that you might be able to do that in the very near future. Yes, it does, uh, but uh, currently only on iOS devices as the Android apps uh, are quite buggy at the moment and Facebook live streaming is not an option at the moment. No, the Spark does not use uh, Lightbridge or OcuSync or any other kind of DJI specific uh, transmission technology. It uses just regular Wi-Fi signal, so therefore the signal could not be as strong as we uh, are used to in the regular DJI drones. 
Just like I mentioned in the previous question, uh, the controller of the Spark does not um, use OcuSync technology, which is the one that is used in the Mavic Pro. Therefore, the controllers are not compatible, so you can't use one for the Spark and the same for the Mavic Pro. Yes, you will be able to use the DJI goggles with the Spark, but you can do that once the drone uh, actually starts shipping because then is the moment where DJI will start rolling out um, the firmware update which makes uh, the Spark compatible with the goggles. So we have around a week until that happens. Yes, you will be able to use a power bank to charge the Spark. Uh, you simply need to connect the power bank to the USB port on the back of the Spark and it will be charged with no problem. Yes, and it's actually very easy to do that. Um, you only need to go into settings and Wi-Fi, connect to Spark's Wi-Fi network uh, and open the DJI GO app and then you have full control over your Spark. This is a tough question. I've made an entire video on the topic, so you can check that. It will be linked in the description. But generally, it really comes down to what you plan to use your drone for and how much money you're willing to spend. If you're looking for more, uh, more of a professional um, drone that has portability, then the Mavic Pro is a great choice. Um, if you're looking for professional shots and you're not willing to compromise with the quality, then just get the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, but if you're only looking for occasionally shooting a nice video or photo and you're just looking to get a special moment captured from uh, a different angle, then Spark is perfect for you and you should get that one. There are five different color options for the Spark and they're called Alpine White, Sky Blue, Lava Red, Meadow Green or Sunrise Yellow. Um, definitely my favorite is the Sky Blue, that's the one that I have on order. Uh, but you should be aware that some colors are not available anymore since they are out of stock. So make sure you check uh, the website for the available colors at the moment. And those are the most frequently asked questions about the Spark as of now. Please uh, be aware that the Spark has not been shipped with a controller yet, so there will be plenty more questions coming um, once people are starting to get their drones. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos such as this one. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the content and I'll see you guys very soon. Ciao!